An interstellar visitor is passing through our solar system right now, and the data coming in is making scientists recalculate everything they thought they knew about objects from beyond the stars. This is 3i Atlas, third confirmed interstellar object in human history. And what NASA, ESA, and independent observatories are finding doesn't match Oumuamua, doesn't match Borisov. This is something else entirely. I'm going to give you the official data, the timeline, the chemistry that's been confirmed, and the parts that are still under wraps. Comment below, what do you think makes this visitor so unusual? Let's go. This isn't clickbait. This is happening above your head at this exact moment. An object moving at 31 kilometers per second through the region near Mars's orbit, speed fast enough to escape our sun's gravitational pull forever. A trajectory that screams foreign registry. This object doesn't belong to our solar system. Never has, never will. Subscribe if you want moment-by-moment -moment updates as new data drops, because this one is big scientifically, historically, and yes, emotionally. The detection came from the ATLAS survey system. ATLAS stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, NASA funded, designed to catch objects that could threaten Earth. But this visitor, not a threat, something far more extraordinary. Right out of the gate, it earned the three I tag. That I is crucial. It stands for interstellar. Third confirmed interstellar object ever detected after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. That I means everything. It means the orbit isn't an ellipse bound to the sun like every comet and asteroid we've studied for centuries. It's a hyperbola, a one-way track, a cosmic encounter we can study for weeks, maybe months, before it vanishes into deep space forever. Let me repeat something because it's almost impossible to comprehend. This object has been traveling through the galaxy for millions, possibly hundreds of millions of years. That's not just astronomy news. That's a Rosetta Stone from another star system moving with the clockwork precision of celestial mechanics passing through our neighborhood right now. The phrase cosmic time capsule isn't mine. Is coming directly from research teams analyzing this visitor. They didn't just observe this object, they're reconstructing its journey across the Milky Way, star by star, gravitational pull by gravitational pull, trying to figure out where it came from and what it's made of. You tell me what it means. Before we go any deeper, let's address the elephant in the room. Is this thing going to hit us? No, absolutely not. Everyone breathe. The closest approach to Earth happens in the coming months, and we're talking about a distance measured in hundreds of millions of kilometers. No impact threat, no extinction event, no last night on Earth playlist needed. This is a flyby with benefits. A safe, bright, analyzable lab sample. A messenger from another star drifting close enough for our instruments to harvest its secrets then sailing on into the cosmic void forever. But here's what makes this flyby so valuable. It's close enough to study in unprecedented detail, close enough for every major telescope on Earth to point at it, close enough for spectroscopy, polarization analysis, composition studies, far enough to be completely harmless. This is the Goldilocks zone for scientific discovery. Now let me give you the hard data the timeline, the specifics, detection, early 2025 Atlas survey system, classification, interstellar comet, third of its kind ever, current position, near Mars's orbit, moving outward, approximately 31 kilometers per second relative to the Sunday, visibility, observable through early 2026 as it moves into deep space, the safe distance never changes. The scientific opportunity only grows. Here's where things get mind-bending. Interstellar objects are original recipe. They preserve chemical fingerprints and mineral structures from the protoplanetary disks where they formed. 
not our protoplanetary disk, not our sun's disk, other protoplanetary disks under other stars, in other radiation fields, at other temperatures and pressures. Think of it as exoplanetary DNA. You sample it, you read it, you reconstruct the story of worlds that never orbited our sun. That's not science fiction, that's spectroscopy. Subscribe now. The shock line comes next. Multiple research teams, including work utilizing the Gaia star map and analysis from observatories worldwide, are confirming this object originated far beyond our solar system. The trajectory reconstruction backs it up. Over millions of years, stars jostle comets. Giant planets kick fragments clean out of their cradles. Most fall silent in the dark. A few, very few, wander into the glare of alien suns. This is one of the few. Comment, how many more are out there that we haven't detected yet? Now let's talk chemistry, because this is where the story gets weird. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared eye on this visitor, and early analysis suggests something unusual. Chemical signatures that don't perfectly match either Oumuamua or Borisov. Spectral data showing compounds that indicate this object may have formed in a very different stellar environment than our own sun. The chemical signature suggests it formed farther out, colder, or under a different stellar radiation environment. Maybe it formed around a cooler star. Maybe it formed in a disk that had different elemental abundances from the start. This is the chemical dialect of another system. We're hearing an accent in frozen compounds that doesn't belong to our family tree. What kind of star system do you think created this object? Drop your theory below. Think about the implications. Really think about them. Somewhere tens of millions of years ago, maybe hundreds of millions, a giant planet in a distant system nudged a small, cold body out of its natal path. It wandered through interstellar night longer than mammals have been mammals. It passed stars we've never named through darkness we'll never see. And in 2025, it drifted into our light long enough for teams worldwide to measure its trajectory and call it what it is, a capsule from deep time. Here's what makes the latest space update so significant. 3. I Atlas is brighter than expected for an object of its estimated size. The brightness profile doesn't match standard models for either asteroids or comets. When scientists look at the spectra, they're seeing absorption lines that require explanation. They're seeing brightness variations over time that suggest something is happening on or near its surface. Unlike Borisov, which displayed clear cometary activity with a visible tail, 3i Atlas shows minimal outgassing. Yet, unlike Oumuamua, which appeared completely inert, 3i Atlas displays subtle changes that suggest it's not entirely dormant. What we're witnessing could be slow sublimation of exotic ices, compounds that evaporate at different temperatures than water ice. Or it could be tumbling rotation, exposing different surface materials to sunlight. The point is, we don't have a complete explanation. And that's actually exciting, because it means we're seeing something genuinely new. Now let's talk about what NASA isn't saying, and why. Here's the reality. In scientific discovery, especially regarding astronomy news of this magnitude, there's a crucial difference between not saying and not yet confirming. When teams detect something unusual, the process is rigorous. Multiple independent observations are required. Data must be peer-reviewed. Models need to be tested and retested. With 3i Atlas, they're being careful. According to sources familiar with the ongoing NASA research process, there are several aspects still under intense analysis. First, exact size and shape remain uncertain. Current estimates place it somewhere between several hundred meters and over a kilometer in diameter. But without a resolved image, scientists are working with light curves and brightness models. Second, the question of origin. 
Backtracking an interstellar object's trajectory is extraordinarily complex. Gravitational perturbations from countless stars make precise origin determination nearly impossible. Scientists can narrow down the general region of space it came from, but pinpointing the specific star system requires assumptions about travel time and stellar positions millions of years in the past. Third, ongoing observations from the Galileo Project and other initiatives designed to study anomalous objects with unprecedented precision. These efforts involve multi-wavelength observations. Looking at 3i Atlas, not just in visible light, but in infrared, ultraviolet, and even radio frequencies, some of this data is still being processed. Some requires months of analysis. That's not secrecy, that's science. When Oumuamua passed through in 2017, scientists observed it accelerating slightly as it moved away from the sun. That tiny acceleration sparked massive debate. The debate continues to this day because we didn't have enough data. NASA and ESA don't want that to happen again. With 3i Atlas, they're coordinating a global effort. Multiple observatories, multiple wavelengths, multiple techniques all aimed at extracting every possible piece of information before this visitor fades from view. Here's what's confirmed as of this latest NASA Discovery Update. 3. iAtlas is real, verified, definitely interstellar. Its trajectory has been calculated and confirmed by multiple independent teams. Its brightness and spectral characteristics place it in a category distinct from both previous interstellar visitors. It poses zero threat to Earth. It will remain observable for months. What's not yet confirmed is mostly what they genuinely don't know. The specific star system of origin, the exact formation mechanism, the complete compositional analysis, the explanation for its unusual brightness behavior. These aren't secrets being withheld. They're puzzles still being solved. Every interstellar visitor is a sample from another star system, a place we cannot reach with current technology. These objects carry chemical and physical signatures of alien stellar environments, planetary systems we may never directly observe. If 3i Atlas is a fragment from a planetary system around another star, perhaps ejected during planet formation or a catastrophic collision, then its composition tells us about the building blocks available in that system. We're reading the biography of a solar system we'll never see written in ice and rock that traveled across the galaxy to reach us. The detection of 3i Atlas following Oumuamua and Borisov confirms something remarkable. Interstellar objects passing through our solar system aren't rare cosmic flukes, they're regular visitors. Statistical models suggest that at any given moment, there may be an interstellar object somewhere in our solar system. Most are too small or too faint to detect with current instruments. But as our asteroid discovery capabilities improve, we'll spot more. The Vera Rubin Observatory will revolutionize this field, allowing astronomers to detect interstellar visitors earlier and track them longer. Multiple space agencies are now studying the feasibility of rapid response missions. Spacecraft that could be launched on short notice to rendezvous with an interstellar visitor, providing close-up data impossible to obtain from Earth. Imagine sending a probe that could actually match velocity with an interstellar object. We could take high-resolution images, sample its surface directly. That would transform interstellar science from remote observation to in-situ exploration. That's the goal. That's what comes next. Let me be absolutely clear. Three, IATLAS is not a threat. It's not artificial. It's not a probe. It's a natural object following the laws of physics through a hyperbolic orbit. The reason NASA isn't saying certain things isn't because they're hiding alien contact. It's because they're doing science properly, gathering data, running models, waiting for peer review. But I understand why people wonder because deep down, we want to know. Are we alone? 3i Atlas won't answer that directly, but it will teach us about planetary system formation, 
about the diversity of chemical environments around other stars, about the galactic neighborhood we inhabit. Here's where we are right now in late 2025. Telescopes are tracking. Spectrometers are analyzing. Scientists are collaborating across continents. Every night that weather permits, someone somewhere is pointing an instrument at 3i Atlas, gathering photons, recording spectra, building the data set that will be analyzed for years to come. We are witnessing a moment in astronomical history, the age when interstellar visitors transform from theoretical possibilities to observed reality, when the space between stars becomes not an impenetrable void, but a highway carrying messages from distant worlds. 3i Atlas is such a message, and we're learning to read it. For now, the latest space update is this. 3i Atlas is out there, real, confirmed, interstellar, moving through our solar system on a trajectory that will never repeat, a once-in-a-generation cosmic encounter we can study for weeks. Comment below. What do you think is the most important thing we should learn from this interstellar visitor before it leaves our solar system forever? Subscribe for updates as the story develops. Because this is happening now, above your head, this exact moment. A cosmic time capsule crossing through our neighborhood, carrying secrets from another world. Let's keep watching.